beautiful areas in the Himalayas, of course, and China plans to build a type of a reserve like Yellowstone National Park on the Tibetan Plateau. There's a building boom in the Tibetan Plateau, one of the world's last, last, last remote places. Mountains along the crowded garlands of fluttering prayer flags, traditional landscape blessings. Of course, we have the Tibetan monasteries there. Traditional landscapes topped with sprawling steel power lines. The illuminated signs of Sinopec gas, of course, stations all over the uh, newly built highways. And uh, ringing by the world's tallest mountain ranges, the region long known as the rooftop of the world, now in crosshairs of China's latest modernization push, marked by multiplying skyscrapers, expanding high steel rail lines. But this is a, there's a difference with the, this plan. The Chinese government also wants to set limits on the region's growth in order to design its own version of one of the U.S. proudest legacies, a national park system. Recently, scientists and policymakers from China, United States, and other countries convened in Qingyin, capital of Qinghai province in China, to discuss China's plans to create a unified park system with clear standards for limiting development and protecting the ecosystem there as well. The country's economy had boomed for over the past 40 years, but there were priorities and they're now expanding to include conserving key natural resources. According to the China representative of International Union, it's a Switzerland-based scientific group. The protect, to protect it, Zhu says, it's quite urgent as soon as possible to identify the places, the ecosystems, and other natural features. Their goal is uh, China to build its own Yellowstone on the Tibetan Plateau. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. The advisory committee providing input to develop of uh, China's nascent national park system expected to be unveiled soon. Chinese officials have visited U.S. national parks as well, including Yellowstone and Yosemite or Yosemite, and uh, they want to ha gain the input from varied organizations, including the Chicago-based Paulson Institute and the Nature Conservancy. And they have the aim to create a unified park system just as they have, we have in the United States. And they said it's a new and serious effort to safeguard China's biodiversity and natural heritage. One of the first pilot parks will be in Qinghai. It's a huge region in Western China next to Tibet and sharing much of its cultural legacy. The area is home to iconic threatening species as the snow leopard and the Chinese mountain cat encompassing the headwaters of three of Asia's greatest waterways, the Yangtze River, the Yellow River, and the Mekong Rivers. And it's one of the most special regions in China and in the world, according to Peking University biologists who worked in Qinghai for two decades. The, que the key questions loom concerning the project. Can China marry the goals of conser uh, conservationism and tourism while safeguarding the livelihoods and cultural uh, uh, backgrounds of approximately 120,000 people who live within the park's boundaries, many of them who are Tibetan. Zhu says China has a dense population and a long history. One of the unique features of China's national parks is that they have local people living either inside or close by. Yellowstone was the U.S.'s first national park after it was created in 1872, the U.S. government forced Native Americans who lived in the area to resettle outside of the park, in keeping with the 19th century notion that wilderness protected meant apart, nature apart from people. But countries that attempt to establish park systems in this century now must consider how best to include the local populations in their planning. Now, Tibet, as we know, is in the Himalayas. Uh, East Asia covering the plateau about uh, nine 
170,000 square miles, homeland of the Tibetan people, as well as some, either, uh, some other ethnic groups such as the Mopa, Kwang, Sherpa. The Sherpa, as we know, are the, uh, uh, those who lead people up to the uh, Mount, climbing Mount Everest. And uh, the Loba people, and it's now inhabited by considerable numbers of Han, Chinese, and Hui people. It's the highest region on our Earth, with an average elevation of 14,000 feet, located in the Himalayas. The highest elevation in Tibet is Mount Everest, as we know. Earth's highest mountain, rising 29,032 feet above sea level. Tibet Empire emerged 7th century. With the fall of the empire, the region was divided into a variety of territories. The bulk of western and central Tibet was often at least nominally unified under a series of Tibetan governments, Lhasa, Shikatse, and nearby locations. So this is going to be the area of the new Yellowstone uh, type of reserves for China. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.